right, so we are down to number six. I don't think a lot of you will agree with me with what my number six is, but for me, this was probably one of the least scary mazes that we had at Horror Nights this year. Again, this wasn't a bad maze at all, but this is my number six. <laughs> start off with an awesome facade of the firehouse for Ghostbusters. Um, there is a taxi cab, but I wish it was Ecto-1, but something is better than nothing at all. Uh, these actors in this scene were fantastic. Really set the scene up well, set the maze up well. I thought they all did a great job. So this whole part I like. It, it felt like I was going into the the I can't I don't know the ghost box. But I wish this whole scene with the UV lights and everything. I wish that went to Zool at the end of the maze, and you'll see that. So cool. Still a great effect. I thought all the costumes and the monsters and Slimer were fantastic. Really great. I did like this black room because it did look like Slimer was floating, but again, I wish this whole UV black light room uh, went to Zool at the end. I don't know if you could see, but those drawers are moving in and out. I really like that librarian, but the ghost effect was kind of funny because you could see both ghosts. It wasn't like a Universal Monsters where you could see, where you couldn't see the werewolf and Dracula. The signage was great. Now this is where the maze would get backed up because this next scene is really freaking awesome to look at. But everybody, everybody was taking pictures and video of this. I'm all for a good theatrical maze, but me personally, personally, I want to get scared. So having a nice balance of scary and theatrical is great. This I felt had more theatrical than scary, which is, okay, that's scary. Which is why this maze is my number six. 
what bugged me is a black wall with this that signage just bugs man have a good stranger things effect with the door she was fantastic doing her little bit See, this is where I wish that black UV rooms would go to Zool and the Keymaster and give Zool the big doors and just give her a bigger scene because she's a huge villain in this movie. This was awesome. It's funny because I thought those four Ghostbusters were actual people. Uh, the first time I went through. And unfortunately, we end the maze in black hallways without an actual ending to the maze. I get it, Stay Puft was the actual ending, but, or the ending, but this is. This black hallway ending just, they just need to stop in the mazes. So yeah. All right, so we just watched the flow through of the maze. Um, just some pieces I would like to talk about. I wish Ecto-1 was outside of the firehouse um, instead of a taxi cab. Um, Ecto-1 was just a flat, um, I, I'm not going to say plywood because I don't know what it was made out of, but it was just a flat wall um, with a blue uh, light on top. And I just, I would have rather had those doors closed, have Ecto-1 outside where the cab is. But the cab was nice. It did have a skeleton animatronic in there. And yeah. Um... Trying to go through the maze. Uh, the UV rooms, I just wish were for were taken out, taken out, and instead gave Zool a, a big doorway scene and a couple scares with the key master. Um, and I'm tired of seeing signs. Like, really detailed signs, but on black walls. So, like, when we were going into uh, the apartment complex where she's getting attacked by the demons, it th the sign for the apartment complex was just on a black wall. And I, I just want detail throughout the maze. And besides that, that, that was really it. That's all I could really complain about. Uh, the ending. The the actual ending with just the black hallways, those need to stop. I remember like going, when Freddy vs. Jason was um, where Ghostbusters was. It had a cool ending that switched. So Freddy would win or Jason would win. Um, Halloween 2 with the pumpkin scene. That was an actual ending. I miss actual endings. So hopefully in the future we will see actual endings endings come back and less black walls throughout the maze and yeah this is my number six so tune in tomorrow for my number five maze for halloween horror nights 2019 at universal studios hollywood